Hello and welcome to our reading session, the worksheets on the story uh, Moonwalk. Yes, this is the first page we usually have in the worksheets. Uh, the story elements, the author, the illustrator, the genre, the author's purpose and the setting, the, and then the characters. So let's see where the answers to these questions. So where to find the uh, answers to our questions? Here on the story cover, we can find nearly most uh, of these answers. The first is the title which is Moonwalk and then uh, the author Ben Bova and here we find the illustrator uh, Peter Bollinger and the genre which is a science fiction which is a story based on uh, science. Uh, let's move on to write down the answers author Ben Bova and illustrator Peter Bollinger the genre is science fiction and then the author purpose the author's purpose is to entertain it was very funny and nice to read and also we have read many information uh, scientific information and what about the setting yes the setting uh, we can see from the previous from uh, all the story we have discussed the story many times in many sessions uh, the time of course is not now and it's not of course in the past because they were living on the moon till now people do not live on the moon and the kids do not go to the moon uh, so it's in the future and where as we said now on the moon so when the time of the story is in the future and where the place it's it happens on the moon what about the main characters who are they the two boys we have read all the story uh the story is about two boys uh a big brother and uh, a younger brother so uh, what are uh, what were their names the brothers Vern and jerry okay what about the minor characters were there any other characters in the story yes yeah, they talked about their dad but he didn't appear in the story so we just leave this as an empty option here can um, yes what about uh, the the theme of the story where can we find uh, the theme of the story uh, we can find the theme on page 170 uh, which is the a cover page the cover of all this unit unit 5 the theme is for all these stories in unit 5 adventures by land air and water so this is the theme of our story to this page we're gonna find here like I said before the narration uh, which is the uh, now uh, we say that the author was the one who's telling the story from his point of view from the author's point of view so the name of the narrator is the author's name and the kind when uh, when the author talks about the characters in the story he uses he and they and she and it so it's called the third person narrator and what about the the moral what about the moral on the story? Uh, actually, I have thought of uh, a few few ideas, a few ideas here, and I wrote them. Uh, for example, helping others because the uh, Jerry, who was the younger brother, didn't say, "I can't do anything to you. I am the little brother. I cannot." So you have to wait till our dad finds out about us, and he will come to rescue us no he was so positive and he did whatever he could it was very hard for him because he was the little one and he had to uh, uh, uh to help her, his brother go back to the shelter and his brother was very heavy for him but and he didn't panic by the way he didn't do like his brother like uh the sun is coming after us and we're the the temperature is going to be like hell and uh, where uh, my brother is going to die no he didn't panic he thought that the temperature if they walk um, 
uh, faster. Uh, the sun will never uh, catch them. And uh, he managed it and he was so responsible and he took his brother to the shelter. What about Vern? Can we learn anything from Vern? Yes, we can learn that um, he was calling his brother a bad name. He was calling his brother a runt. So we should really, really be nice to our siblings. Siblings means brothers and sisters. So these are my ideas. Maybe you have uh, some other ideas, some other lessons that you learned from this story. A lesson that you learn in your life. Okay, like helping others, don't panic in case of emergencies and be nice to your siblings. These are my ideas. Maybe you have uh, something else. Will you please go, by, uh, go to the discussion room and tell us your... Um, your idea there and the theme is adventures and so please write these answers in your booklets or in your uh, reading worksheets you can pause the video and and then we go to page 55 and here the, uh, these are questions about the meanings of the words we have revised and re-revised many times these words so let's just start there. Travelers came to the rail. The next page. Here we have number three. Uh, Lewin is summoning the others. So what is the meaning of summoning? The evidence here. Yes, here we have this page. And uh, the other question, which was the main problem of the story. Here we find that the in this page 301, we can see that questions and try to answer them. Here, what? Why did Jerry attempt the jump his brother made? To another sheet, another uh, some other questions. Which event happened after Vern? fell in the rill what happened after he fell in the rill the sun started to rise or the boys left the shelter the boys left the shelter this was the first thing that happened in the story dad went off to the on the tractor this all this happened before even the story starts and jerry checked his thermometer this happened in the middle of the uh okay we're going to find out here number seven Vern got hurt because he was what do you expect and which detail supports the theme the people often exhibit unusual strength during an emergency find out the answers here number six which event happened after Vern fell in the rail we can find on on page 302 in your textbook you will find this exhibit uh, Oh my gosh, Vern said, the sun. Jerry saw that daylight had crept across the floor of the crater and was almost upon them. He knew that without electricity, Vern's cooling system and the heat radiator wouldn't work. Once they were in sunlight, the temperature would soar to 250 degrees. So what is the answer now? I think it's very obvious here are these two questions number seven Vern got hurt because he was he was what unfriendly or stubborn or foolish or jealous he wasn't jealous and he wasn't unfriendly I think uh, what about stubborn and foolish yeah he insisted to uh, jump over a very wide rill and while he was running he stumbled over a rock and still he insisted to jump over any any boy uh, who is wiser than this will not jump after he stumbles he will go back he will go back and try from the beginning or skip jumping over a very wide drill uh, so we are going to choose the word foolish which is which means not wise uh, the last question this session is going to be which detail supports the theme uh, 